In the diagram, ray MN is parallel to ray PQ. Find each of the following angle measures. A, we're going to look for the measure of angle 3. B, we're going to look for the measure of angle 1. And C, we're going to look for the measure of angle 2. So let's start with part A. So the measure of angle 3. So I see here that I do have one angle measure that's given to me. Angle 6, which is 123 degrees, is given to me. I see here that I have corresponding angles. My corresponding angles, since MN is parallel to PQ and TS is a transversal, are going to be congruent. So the measure of angle 3 is going to equal the measure of angle 6, which is 123 degrees. Next, let's look at part B. Part B, I'm looking for the measure of angle 1. So I know that I have 123 degrees for this, and my vertical angles are congruent. So the measure of angle 3 has to be congruent to the measure of angle 1. So the measure of angle 3 equals measure of angle 1, which is 123 degrees. Next, next let's look at the measure of angle 2. So I know that um, I know that TS is a straight line, and I know that angle 3 equals 123 degrees. So the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 have to equal 180 degrees because they are both angles on a line. We know that measure of angle 3 is to 123 degrees. So now we can subtract 123 degrees from both sides to find that the measure of angle 2 equals 57 degrees.